Good morning, everybody, or, well, I guess we could say afternoon or evening to you, in case you are watching this video at a different time than when I am releasing it. I'm releasing it at about 11 o'clock on Wednesday here, and it is one of my, another one of my PGA model breakdowns for Osmo.com. And of course, everything you're about to see, you can download into your own Excel by becoming an Osmo Plus member. And again, we've got a promo code. Use Pumpkin for just $10.31. You're going to get an Osmo Plus Weekly Platinum Pass, which gives you access to all of our premium tools from every single sport that we offer. So a real good value there. And one of the things you're going to get access to is what I'm about to talk about, my model breakdown as we go into it here. Uh, this is the front page or the front model, uh, the, the front tab. Sorry, the front tab, not the front model. The front tab here when you pull it up, this is what it's going to look like. Um, so we're going to start all the way to the left. Of course, I put in OWGR. I put in the model rank, the make your own model rank. That's why MYOM stands for. In this column E that I have hidden, I've got Osmo's rank on there as well. Then we go odds, salary information. Then we got ownership, my ownership here, and then Osmo's hidden behind this little wall. Of course, you're going to get that access to it. The actual, what I would call, maybe not projected points, but the rating in which I used to build out my lineups. Going across, I put in some strokes gained the last couple of years, some other statistics, approach proximity, recent form for six weeks, course history, if we have it, but we don't have any this year, we we'll only have one year. And then we've got uh, DraftKings points all the way back to last year's RSM. So that's probably the most important thing that if you're interested in that you can go check out on this front page. Other than that, on the front page, it's just a model rank. Uh, of course, this week looks like Will Zalatores coming in number one there. So We'll get to that there in a little bit, though. We're going to go through the tabs at the bottom first here very quickly. we got the combined models for Fantasy Cruncher. Oh, looks like I'm missing a model on somebody here. A little missing a line item. We're going to get rid of Michael Miller here. Sorry. And what this is showing you is it's going to, it takes the model rank, the make your own model rank, the awesome model projected points, and puts you into a combined ranking. This is the one that I use for Fantasy Cruncher. It's the one I use. Uh, I load up in there, so it's pretty simple. All I do, in case you don't know how to get all these into Fantasy Cruncher, which this should be coming up. I don't know why it's not. But regardless, we don't need the combined rank. We just need the combined points. What we do is we uh, highlight those two. We press Control-C. We come over here into P and Q. And then what I do is, it's pretty simple. I just copy P and Q uh, and directly into the upload feature in Fantasy Cruncher. Okay, now we go into algo points here. These are... The ones, uh, th these, this tab, I should say, sorry, are showing you how each golfer is getting to the projected points that I'm showing you. Of course, it's a, it's a rank-based model, so the lower end of this is probably going to be a little bit off. My higher ends always match up pretty well with Osmos, but the lower end guys may be a little bit lower projected points than typical. The make your own model is where you can come and change. If you don't believe the odds makers are right and you believe strokes gained is right, you can switch that, type in... Uh, you type in 60 here, and then you type in 150 here, and you're going to get a new value all the way to the right in column R. And, of course, that will populate on the front page. So I'm going to put it back here to 160 and to 50 just for transparency purposes. But that is the way that you change it. Then we go into each individual tab, OWGR, the odds, the strokes gain ranked by field, which I like this tab. You know, you can come out and see that Peter Melnati is number one in the field, also number one for this year in strokes gain putting. Uh, Brendan Todd, two and five. So I just like to look at that. And of course, strokes gained T to green. You're going to certainly see some different names here than expected. Will Zal Torres, Vijegas, Nelson Ledesma, even Josh Teeter, Ricky Barnes. I mean, we haven't had that many starts here this, this year. So I guess not too much of a surprise to see some of the names up here that I am seeing. Okay, then we go under other statistical rank where I only give you four or five on the front page. I'm going to give you about 20 here on this page and I'm always adding them. Of course, if there's a statistic that you uh, don't see on here that you would like to see, let me know. I'll be glad to go pull it and get the information. Then I do approach proximity from two years. It's actually not. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I have an uh, updated approach proximity. It is from 2019 and 2020. I'll have the updated ones from 2021 after this next three-week swing. During our little bit time off in December is when I try and update all of this. But the strokes gained information I have updated already. That's a little bit easier to do so. Then, of course, we go into our course history tab. For this week, what I did is I put 2019 on there, then the only year we've competed. And 
uh, what some of the statistics that those golfers did to get into their uh, finish position. So, uh, you know, we can see Bo Hostler came in 24th, but only hit 39% of his fairways. Wow, crazy. Um, putted very well here last year. So his off the tee game has been much improved this year. So maybe Bo Hostler, uh, definitely a target to keep an eye on. So again, this is the course history tab. And if you are a follower of my content, you see this, of course, in the fit in the form article. The other thing that you see in the fit in the form article is the recent form tab. I love this tab. It's a great one. It's just, um, I wouldn't say maybe a different way to look at this as I scroll in so you guys can see a little bit better here. Uh, just a little bit of a, a, a way to compare everybody and see how everyone is playing regardless of the tour that they're playing on. I want to show you, you know, because if we took the local IQ series tour out of things and said, you know what? Justin Sue is not playing against good competition. We're going to throw that recent form out and not even look at it. Well, you might have missed his 14th place finish at the Corrales and his 8th place finish at Shriners if you had done that. But now with back-to-back -back good starts on the PGA Tour plus a good finish at the Barracuda, I suspect people will be more apt to look at his recent form this week than other weeks. Then the last couple of slides here, or uh, tabs, I should say. We've got the DraftKings uh, points model, which I just go and put the last six weeks of information on there. Uh, and it's it's using field rank and total points as the barometer here because of course you know at the US Open when Will Zalatoris only scored 70 points he came in fourth place though however you know as compared to some other weeks where he scored 121 for example a couple of weeks ago at the Shriners he came in fifth so uh, important to look at both statistics here then of course I've got my ownership projection where I'm going to give you all of the golfers projected ownership for the last oh man a long time to the Byron Nelson so you can see how I'm getting to the ownership numbers I'm getting to here this week. And then lastly, we've got the tiers where I break down each pricing category to compare like-priced golfers to help you build out your lineups. And of course, I put my model rank and make your own model rank in there to each of the things. So those are the three pricing categories that I've been using recently. All right, let's head back to the full model here and take a look at my model ranks. We always try and do that at the end and with my new and improved technology. You see how quickly that went. We love to see it. So, okay, the model rank, Will Zalatoris, number one in both the Make Your Own and Model. Doc Redman is two in both. Harold Varner is number three in both. Looking for the first guy priced under 8000 No surprise to see Stuart Sink up there as the first guy to do so. He's been playing great recently. Second on that list is Wyndham Clark. Third is Cam Percy. And fourth is Podrick Harrington. Podrick Harrington has played very well recently, but I can tell you Osimo's rank, not nearly as good on Padre Carrington as mine is. This this base rating model this week is really heavy on the recent form. Um, so that's why you see Padre Carrington, who has very good recent form, plus his odds, 55 to 1. Seems pretty low for Padre Carrington, but both those things are pushing him way up the uh, the ranking for me this week. Uh, Luke List also there. Uh, Tyler McCumbers under 8,000, and Brian Stewart also under 8,000 ranked in the top 20 here this week. You know, for example, uh, which again, I'm tweaking these uh, projections each uh, each day and especially as we come closer to lineup building time, which I build most of my lineups on Wednesday night, in case you were wondering when I build them. Um, I'll go in and I'll check and say, whoa, how come Patrick Harrington has, uh, is projected over, you know, guys like Luke List, Emiliano Grillo, which that probably shouldn't be the case. Um, so I'll go in and check that and see why Harrington's getting such... So much love this week and make sure that the model is putting out what I want it to. You know, for example, Henrik Stenson versus Potter Carrington. Yeah, I'd probably rather play Stenson this week. So again, I will be I will be taking a look at that. So make sure to keep on checking it, uh, of course, throughout the week. And uh, of course, when you're going to build lineups, uh, you know, I always late till the latest time to build lineups. And the reason for that is because recently we've had a ton of withdraws. Uh, so I don't want to, of course, be making lineups, getting sold on it, and then having to redo everything anyway. So I just wait till Wednesday night. It's kind of what I do. Okay, uh, Kevin Stadler here. We're going to hide him, and we're going to talk about ownership real quickly. Uh, of course, if you're looking for more ownership information, I've just posted my Against the Grain pod and video, so we don't have to go too deep into it here. But Will Zalatoris, Stuart Sink, Adam Shank, Brendan Todd, Peter Milnani, Denny McCarthy, Justin Sue, Harold Varner, Cam Tringale, and below 8K is going to be Wes Bryan as the highest owned guys on the slate. So that will do it for my model breakdown. Again, it looks like a clean sweep of Will Zalatoris up front in most projected models this week, which means that the stats have caught up to him a bit. It means that he's playing well enough uh, on the PGA Tour to get it. So it'll be interesting to see 
how that all pans out. So until next time, everybody, check out my three ball betting video coming out just after you see this. And of course, plenty of other content, including the live before lock show with Ben Raz and I, latest show in the industry. And we uh, love it. We have a lot of fun with it. Uh, so come on and check that out. I'm going to be talking about Thunderdome lineups for Empire Maker and Awesomeo, as well as the uh, Fantasy World Golf Championship uh, lineup with Ben Raza as he has made it to the second round. So until next time, everybody, thank you for coming by one of my model breakdowns, and we will see you on the other side. Cheers.